Gun, it's on. Alright, shout out one. We're the first start off. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Yahweh. God shoot the Hammer Shot. God shoot the Cock Dash. Double one unto the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation Israel. This is the DMS Houston Camp. We out here again to prophesy the downfall of America, which America is written of in the, in the scriptures. Okay? <coughs> And, and hopes that, you know, uh, word, these words fall on the ears of the elect, you know? Let's start off with, uh, before we go into it, let's start off with Matthew 10, 5, and 6. Because we out here to let the, all the nations know their judgment. Really, first and foremost, we out here to, uh, sit for the house of Israel through, through the scriptures. It's Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. It says, These twelve, Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. So that started, Yahweh started the ministry uh, way back over 2,000 years ago. And the ministry is still going up until the, the last days. The ministry was going to keep, continue, I'm sorry, continue up until the end. We're in the end. That same thing that Yahweh Shai told the 12 to go do is what we out here doing. Okay? Uh, read on. It says, Matthew 10, 5. It says, verse 7, And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal. Right. Uh, that's left, that's it right okay, that's good right there. So that's what we are here to do to preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, which that's gonna come uh, at the end. Okay, meaning the kingdom of heaven is gonna be at hand when this man's society, okay, is at a is at an end, I'm coming to an end, and that's where we at in biblical uh, prophecy. We at the end of this man's society. How do we know this? Based upon the prophecies. We bring that out. Now you said uh, the prophets, they still going to be here. Still going to be a prophesying. And what proves that? Revelation uh, 18. When it goes until after America get destroyed, which is known as the scriptures as Babylon the Great, that the apostles and the prophets going to rejoice in that day, man. Which further proves you have apostles and prophets here as we speak, and why will we be amongst that? Hey, what is saying uh, uh, Acts 1 and 8? The Hawashai said he also will receive power until the utmost yeah, possible. Bring it up. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 8. Acts chapter 1 and 8, it says, I start at 7, it says, and he, and he said unto them, uh, start at 6, 6 times. It's the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of heaven to Israel? Right, so. so and we are, okay. It says, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Right, and this was inquired of by Peter and the, and the apostles. Okay? Or disciples, they became apostles. At this particular time, they were already apostles, right? And they were inquiring, are you going to set up the kingdom now? You know? And, but it wasn't time uh, back then. That's why Yahweh was going to go say, uh, say this. Go ahead. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem. Right. And Over 2,000 years ago, back when they started, uh, when this whole ministry got started, you know, with your house side, and then after your house side, as we, you know, you're reading this account, 
he went up to, uh, went up to sit at the right hand of the most of Yahweh. And uh, all the way back at that, to that point of the field. Now, go ahead. It says, And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. It says, And unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right, so from the over there in the land of Israel, okay, the eastern side of the world, on the eastern hemisphere, they were going to start there and then preach it to the uttermost part of the earth, which is what? Yeah. That's it. The, the, the western hemisphere of uh, America, <coughs> mainly uh, the Babylon the Great, was well, starting in Babylon the Great. That's what his word uh that's where the, the word came out. We started it. As far as if we went to sleep or fell asleep through captivity. Alright? And then when the most high decided to put his spirit upon upon the, the pastors, according to Jeremiah 3 and 15, it started over uh, well up in uh, New York. You know? You got something? And if you could, well, we get up to the Revelation 11, 11 and 8. Yeah, the spirit go to where it is. You bring up piece of our first. Oh, no, just when it's Matthew 24 and 14, oh, when it says, oh, right, this okay. gospel, you know, if you preach it to the. Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You got it out. I slide that. Matthew 24 and verse 15. What, 14. 14, slide. And it reads, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for the witness unto all nations. Mm -hmm. And then shall the end come. That further proves that I would not agree that the Revelation 14 and 4 said only 144,000 will be able to sing their new song. That's the gospel. So they have to be here today in order for the word to be pushed to the four corners and now we're in the end. Like the other brother right, saying, right. and we see it happening in the earth by way of the spirit of prophecy. He, he, he just mentioned how the spirit go up in this right. The about. spirit of prophecy. Right. Ezekiel 37, that's go to the four corners. Right. And I have, in my mind, you know, I had another direction I wanted to go. But the, the, the spirit is going somewhere. Uh, the spirit is taking us somewhere else. So we got to go with the spirit. Uh, yeah, you got something? Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, James 1, verse 1. James, a servant of the Most High, and of the Lord Yahweh Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Like how that precept came out. Uh, uh, this book, the gospel we all read. Say, uh, back in Matthew uh, 24, verse 14. Yep. And this gospel, the king of the kingdom, shall be preached in all the world for the witness of to all the nations. The gospel will be preached in all the world. Peter's 1 verse 1, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh, 
to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. It says on um, verse 2. Yeah, and now before you go to verse 2, yeah, we were uh, up until this very day, once again, we are all scattered. Okay? Scattered out of our uh, homeland. The land, the land of Israel. And furthermore, what happened? We lost uh, our identity through that. We captivity. Uh, really, coming over to this side of the world. You know, in our former captivities, we knew we were Israelites. Uh, but you know what? We didn't know all of Israel. Didn't know they were Israelites during this time period. During right. the time period of Yahweh side and the twelve, Paul. You know, that's. That's, that uh, that scattering that's being talked about in First Peter are those Israelites. A lot of them are the Israelites that didn't know they were Israelites. Yeah. You know? And that's why they were considered by the Jews. Uh, the other Israelites to be uh, Gentiles. Right. 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 Being getting scattered, right? Through slavery and then following the practices of the other nations. Mainly at that point, dealing with the Greek, the Greek uh, way of life and speaking the Greek language. Hey, and it happened to us. It happened to us uh, here in these last days. You know, did the same thing. We, we, we lost our identity. We came up under the Greco uh, Roman fashion. You know, and we speaking the. Really, it's a bastard tongue. They say that, you know, English is supposed to come from the uh, Latin. But, uh, this is just a, you know, this is made of tongue, you know? Uh, that's that first Peter 2? Yeah, yeah. Okay, from this first Peter 1, verse 2, it says, Elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High Father. Right, the scattered Israelites. All right? Right. Talking about the elect, though not all of Israel. So we are here, to, like I mentioned uh, at the start of the the, uh, the last street speaking. We are here in hope that these words fall on the ears of the elect. If, if the uh, you know the whole 144 had been woken up, and that's the that's the key, you know, because that's the leadership, that's the uh, government body of. The nation of Israel. First Peter. Yeah, the, the, it's important that you gotta the most high gotta gather the leaders first in order to rebuild this build this nation. And that's just the way the most high wanted it to play out. Because the most high can snap his fingers, so to speak, and clean us up and get us right, but then that'll be going against uh, his word, you know? Go ahead, I. First Peter 1, verse 2, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High Yahweh, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shad, Hashiach, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. That's a, that's a good word. verse really saying a lot. You know, because we was all sanctified through the, through, the, through the word. You know, that's how we get a second Peter 3 and 1. That's how our memory was jogged, so to speak. And we were brought, woken up to the fact that we were Israelites through the prophets bringing out the word. Uh, bring to that is that out and give Romans 10 and 17. Second Peter 3 and 1. It says, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Yeah. By what? Who was he? Who was uh, Paul doing? He was preaching. Well, this is Peter. All right, select Peter was prophesying. 
That's what the Lord told him to do. And the 12, he said, go and, and preach. And as you go, preach. In other words, prophesy, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes. Because the kingdom didn't come. Oh, it ain't came yet. So what is the kingdom coming is prophecy. And of the commandment, commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. That's it. Yeah. And read that one more time, man. Second Peter three and two it says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. We show that the Old Testament is broken. Right. But that's where the prophets. Yeah. yeah. What was um what was Yahweh Shai and the, the the apostles going by? When they was preaching, they wasn't out there coming out there. I mean the most high could have did just uh, could have just put the when he put the wisdom in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai knew it knows it all. You know? But the disciples had to get what? They had to get the spirit of the cycle means they had to come up under a discipline of what? Teachings. That's what the uh, discipline goes, that's what the word discipline goes into. Coming up with a, a, a set of uh, rules and regulations, man. Of teachings. Okay? Or, let me say it again, sorry about that. Coming up uh, uh, under a particular set of teachings. Okay, and that's what your house I did. He talked to him. He wrote down what the Old Testament was talking about, especially concerning uh, him coming on the scene. Yes. Okay, but I wanted this. Okay, we were about our uh, second piece about stirring up our. You know, our minds by, uh, our pure minds by way of uh, remembrance. Real quick, get Jeremiah uh, 17 and 4. Because we're going into the fact that we are, we are lost our weight, lost our identity, and lost our heritage, which our identity is, is uh, part of our heritage. Uh, bring it up. This Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land with the, which thou knowest not. Right. What's our, what is our uh, heritage? Our heritage is our, uh, that we're Hebrew Israelites from our different respective tribes. Our heritage is our, our land, okay? Our heritage is the law, statute, and commandment. The, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, that's our heritage. To have the understanding of, of, of these scriptures, you know? Now we on that. It says, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Right, so that's... Again, that's why we lost it. That's why we lost everything. We lost it all. Yes. You know? Yes. Because we pissed the most off. So through your house side, we now able to we didn't we coming back in to getting in good standards with the most high. Right. And we still can't go directly to your house. Right. We gotta go through sun. Right. right. This is Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. It says, So then faith 
cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. Right, so being uh, uh, lost spiritually, uh, dead, spiritually dead, not knowing, none of us knew who the hell we were. We thought we was blacks. With that, that's just the color. We didn't, uh, our people don't know, we didn't just like we didn't know the, the definition of word, the etymology of word. A nigga don't know what the word race means or nationality. <clears throat> but they'll, they'll be quick to try to debate you and get deep with you. You know? So we had to come back to our uh, uh, nationality through what? Through hearing the word. Through the faith we believe, or another word for belief is faith, that we are the Israelites. You know? And we got to come back to the, to the Heavenly Father through His Son. That's the only way. You had a precept? Y'all bring your precept. This is Baruch 4 verse 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High Yahweh to rest, ye were delivered unto the enemies. Right, and what did they do? Really, what did the, my main enemy, Esau, what did he do? He the one the Most High used the strippers of our nationality. Right. Just like uh, back during the time of the Greek Empire. That's when we lost, that's when we uh, first lost knowledge of, the first time period we lost knowledge of the fact we were Israelites. Okay, through Esau. Through, especially through a man by the name of Antiochus the Fifth. Antiochus the Fourth. Yeah, that's good. It's uh, 2 Maccabee 6. What is this verse? Uh, it's the 6, six verses. Yeah, you can read the 6 verses. Yeah. 2 Maccabee 6 and 1. It says, Not long after this, the king sent an old man to Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers. Yeah. Hold on, where you at? 2 Maccabee 6. And okay. Bring that out. Then go to the, uh, the first chapter. It's, uh, 2 Maccabees 6 and 1 it says not long after this the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the laws of the Most High and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem and to call it the temple Jupiter Olympus and that in garrison of Jupiter the, the, the defender of strangers and they did desire that dwelt in the place. It says, the coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people, for the temple was filled with riot and reveling by the Gentiles. It says, for the Gentiles who dallied with harlots and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places, and besides that, brought in things that were not lawful. As such as our swan. And it says, the altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbid him. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So, so you weren't able to profess yourself to be a Jew or an Israelite in which you had to be. But this is the time of the Greeks. Right? Now what you're saying? You're saying as they're wrong, do as they're wrong. So, as the Greeks were ruling, you had to be like the Greeks, man. Right? Just like today, we was Americanized, Americanization. The same thing, so they couldn't call themselves Jews, step away from their laws, therefore they became Greeks. That's why Apostle Paul was pushing a message after the Greek Empire to tell them, you look, you're not Greeks, you're all Israelites. You know? And that's the same thing we hear going today, telling our people, you're not Americans, you're blacks, you're all Israelites. Second Maccabees one. And yeah, then I'll say this too. Uh eleven or start at eleven. And uh man, yeah, I lost my uh my train of thought. That's all right, bring the first side of the it'll come back. First Maccabees. Uh first Maccabees, I'm sorry. Okay, this first Maccabees one and eleven. It says, in those days. 
went there? Oh, no, Sadie is back going up. Uh, First Maccabees won in Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. No, that, so that first generation that was, uh, that had been forced to leave off from their ways because it, it, it was two different uh, ways that Israel went off. You had certain, we were about to bring out certain Israelites uh, were persuaded by the leadership to follow the way of the other group. You know, and then it got to a, uh, a point to where it became unlawful to be uh, uh, Israelite. Take that something. Yeah, Illegal right. to be your nationality. <laughs> you know? So the generation that came up uh, later uh, uh, came up believing they were Greeks. So by the time your house got on the scene, it, uh, uh, some centuries had passed. Okay. You're going to look at the time of the, of, uh, you're going to go to the time of the Ptolemies and the Seleucid Empire. You know, up until uh, the time of your house shot coming on the city. That's a lot of time to pass. And would it take a generation to pass, to lose, lose mm -hmm. knowledge? Right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah somewhere you know. up in that ballpark. So we just all the way gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even in this time, we yeah. go. Hey, oh, if we look at our, we look at our people, man, and like, ah, oh, we go, man. And the Most High did it intentionally. Yeah. That's the thing about it. Uh, Where we in the scriptures? First, first Maccabees. First Maccabees one and eleven. In those days, when they're out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. And whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. And made, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. Yeah, see? So they taught their children. And they, 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 they them, that generation taught their children that they were Greeks. And this is the way of life. And this is the language where I grew up and this is the language. cannot be measured nor numbered. And it should come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people, there right. is Right, where is the place that it was said unto us that we not the chosen people of the most high? Right. Right, right here in, in, in Babylon the Great. United States of America. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Land of the press and home of the oh, 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 oh. Wow. Depression. And oppression. Right. We say you don't go in and in. And, and, and we found out over here. We didn't begin out. Go so back to uh, Hosea, verse chapter 1, we started verse 10 at the top. He said, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it should come to pass that in the place. That's prophecy. This, see, this is prophecy right here. It shall come to pass. Go ahead. That in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, there be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. And that's. 
No, I'm sorry, bro. No. Yeah, read it one more time. It's a lot. He said, uh, chapter, uh, Hosea 1, chapter 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people. How was it, how was it told us that we, were, we are not uh, the most high people? We were uh, considered, they were still to this day, what, three-fifths of a, a, a man? Yeah. How could that be the prince of uh, right. uh, the king? You know, because Israel, I mean, in, in the Hebrew, Joshua Allah, it means he's the prince of power. Yes. Or he's the prince of God. All right? What's, an, what's an, uh, another way? Through the five words and proverbs. Uh, yep. Getting called Afro-Americans, African-Americans. How many goddamn names? You know, we gonna come up on it. <laughs> yeah, black, you know, black, black color. Color. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yep. In the way y'all black. Yep. Y'all black. And now, oh, and now we yeah. out here telling our people we not them by words. Right. We the, we are the tribe of Israel. Right. You know? Now, if you know the history, it should be it shouldn't be something astonishing. Like, right. what the hell are y'all talking about, y'all the Israelites? Right. You know? If we heard it and we believe. Yes, indeed. Right. Well, let's uh, real quick get Ephesians 2 and uh, 8. And we'll go back to the uh, Let's try and feed this uh, Ephesians. from the entertainment level of uh, yeah. so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans all the way down to the so-called common Israelite. Jake is uh, waking up. Yes. Even the ones that ain't got, they don't fully understand what this is about. Right. Okay. They at least uh, get the fact that they're Israelites. And they voice it. Yeah. They let it be known. Even like the book said, even all the way down to the Jake find out they, a lot of Jake find out they Israelites. That's all they do with it is find out right. that they are. But they gonna tell everybody they know. Right. Yeah. Jake can't keep nothing under their hat. Yeah, You know the <laughs> No, no, no. I was just gonna say, there's still gonna be eating shrimp. Oh, right, right. Like <laughs> <laughs> that, they're still gonna be partaking in birthdays, Christmas, and all that stuff. But they right. just, them knowing that they're Israelites, that's as far as they go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kodak Black, no, he is yeah, black. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many people you think they sitting around, running their mouth, you know, doing whatever they do, and they start talking about this stuff? Yeah, they right. like this. Now, these are, this is the leader of the, these are the leader of people. You know, like, if you're entertaining, you know you're going to have a bunch of underlings, a bunch of yes. kids, you know? Because you, you got the money. Right? Yeah. Uh, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Kanye West. Okay. Uh, Anthony. Came down. Okay. Yeah, Big Sean. Start of mine. Yeah, so Reaper. This is not a. Uh, so, you know, it was, a, it was a point in time where us talking about we the Israelites, it did sound like way far fetched to the, to the masses. But now, even though Jake ain't taking it serious, the information about we the Israelites is not uh, uncommon to hear about. Yeah. Uh, at all. You know? Yeah. Uh, you it's two and eight. You brought that out already? Yeah, go ahead. It's Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter two and verse eight. For by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, ourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. Right, so I brought that out to show that everybody not gonna get the faith. Everybody not gonna get the gift of faith. And how the faith come was ready by by hearing. Hearing uh, and hearing and hearing by the word of the, of the most high. Or Yahweh by Shum Yahweh. 
okay? That's how the faith is uh, activated, so to speak. Hearing this word. But our people heard it, because the scripture say our sound went in all the earth. That's right. Bro. Didn't it? Did it not? Through the what? Internet. Yeah. Yeah. So our word, our, our, uh, our voice went out. So everybody that heard this word, but everybody not going to believe it. Right. Well, everybody deserves uh, all of this word. Right. Okay. Uh, our uh, elder uh, high priest Ariel. 
you know, and that leadership, and then on down to uh, our pop, a great millstone. And that's when it, when they got on the internet, on the YouTube, that's when this thing really yeah. opened up and took off. That's when this thing went uh, international. Right. That's when the truth of the scripture went international. Because you were saying about our business and uh, which I won't pass This is what they're talking about. Malachi 4 and 5. It says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great bad. and dreadful wow. day wow. of the Lord. It's the great and dreadful day of the Lord. The time that we're in, in these last days. children to their fathers, least I come and smite the earth with a curse. Right. Wake us up to the fact that we are Israelites. Yep. Coming out of a Gentile state of mind. Jake is, uh, you know, our people are satisfied with the condition of this planet. Right. And they really not. Well, Jake is sick and tired of this shit, you know. But they think this is the only way. Like, if America don't exist, when this place stops in, yeah. life is over. But well, well, this ain't life in the Exactly. This is not living. Right. <coughs> this is what you call captivity still. Hell. How you living in captivity? Yeah, you breathing. Yeah. You're not really living life. <laughs> yeah, hell no. Existing. Yeah, you will still just get, it. get that in the uh, group 3 and 8. We'll get this to that group three and eight. Yeah. We'll get this day in our captivity. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll get this day. We're still in captivity. Uh, captives of the mind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mentally got the mental shackles on. Yeah. Spiritual shackles on our on our mind. Yeah. Uh, concerning the nation, you know. Yeah. That's the worst kind of slave. Well, not for the slave owner, but for the people. You you don't even know you a slave, but you right. a slave. That's how you know you're you, you locked up in the mind. Go on. You're a prisoner. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Lord said that he will bind that yoke of iron on us until we have 
have been destroyed. So once that happened, we was already messed up in the mind to an extent, you know? Yeah. That's the whole thing. Shackle, we don't we want to get them to the point where we don't have to shackle them exactly. up. Exactly. They be good, perfect little slaves. Yeah. That's not going to run away. If first run away, they're going to have Stockholm syndrome. Yep, yep, yep. That's why these places. niggas that, that come up, like, we talk about what's the dude that play football, the quarterback, the young Jay. Roger. No, who? Uh, the the one that said he ain't dabbing no more. He, he used to play football camp for uh, oh, Cam, Cam, Cam Newton. Cam Newton. Why would you still be playing football? Uh, King James, why are you still playing basketball? Right. Why? Why are you still here? Right. You know, you know, uh, when did you catch up? For that, uh, for that fame. Yes. Yes. For yes. that, for that boy that's inside yes. of the stuff. You know? Same it ain't for the money, yeah. they got plenty of money, you know. Come on. It ain't for the money, but they get that good feeling of, you know, they look at that fame. Bring, I forget who it was. Somebody was bringing out the information about these uh, athletes. Well, they was really going into like uh, rappers more so. But this applied to athletes, pro professional athletes. Uh, actors and actresses and all that stuff. The main reason, yeah, they they getting the money, so they in it for the for the money. But once you get up there to where you didn't you didn't got money and you can make investments and yes. generate money, what's driving you to stay in being a uh, being in a live like so yes. being famous. Yes. Famous because being famous becomes more important than the money. Yeah, Jay-Z said that. He said, fame is the worst drug all the man. <laughs> oh, and fame go back to family. You can go all into the to the to the word. Yes. So when you seeking fame, that's because you empty inside. Yes. See, through this word, we'll feel. Yes. You know? Money can't satisfy uh this this um Exactly. That empty is so Because even if you have millions of dollars, you know this truth, those millions of dollars is not going to satisfy you, man. Okay? Nothing in this world can satisfy us. Because at the end of the day, even if you got a lot, you're still here. Your people are still gone. We're still not in rulership, but you got some trinkets. Some cars and houses and what? The, the nigga, the, uh, I seen it on my uh, YouTube feed. Shit, Young Thug, the rapper dude, uh, he couldn't get on the, uh, he got uh, kicked off the plane. Okay. Off his little, so not his, a private jet. Yeah. You know? Then they sit there and interview uh, Gunner, the other guy. Talking about well, you know, we rich, you know, so we got friends with plane. So we just had to get call somebody else to get another plane. That ain't the point. Nah, that's a that Jake lying by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, lying because they was really we gotta get we gotta get right. there. So what you were saying? Oh, that, that, that the, the, point. the point is you still ain't ruling nothing. Right. You ain't running shit. They talking about that, you know, how people talk about their kings yeah. and right. gods yeah. and all these, you know, and new on the East Coast, they like, what's up, God? Yo, God, all <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. yo, God, this. <laughs> they like to call each other kings. Well, look, man, we ain't got that status. <laughs> we not man. there. We not there. We coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God's and kings on this earth are coming. It's right. coming. Right. We ain't there yet. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, what we doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still in the booth. Okay. Huh? Okay. Oh, about the. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's we'll say. Baruch 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. For thou hast scattered us for a reproach. Hey, well, we are, where the Most High has scattered us for, look, for a reproach. Go ahead. And a curse and to be subject to payment. Oh, yeah. Right. And you can see that uh, we are uh, cursed. When even a nation, when a nation look at us, they can see that man, them people are 
I mean, yeah, because now that we have awakened to this truth, that we see, we used to be caught up into it, and, and uh, even we had caught, we got a what do we call accustomed to it. Yeah, it yeah. was normal for us to see the disarray of our people. Yeah, even though we could constantly see that, damn, we in a jacked up situation. You know, it was just normal to witness all this. Right. You know, your gunshots. Yeah, all this madness that go on with Jake, all the crazy, the, 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 the craziness that goes on in our lifestyles, how we was living, it's just normal. It's just a way of life. We know it's messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jake glorified. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the worse your hood is, or the, the environment that you live in, the more crime infested, the more drug infested, the more ratchet, like Jake like to say, the harder you are. And the harder your hood is, that's that's put up on a pedestal. Yeah, yeah. Shit. I'm from Chirac, the murder capital. They, it was a point where Jake was bragging about the murder capital. It was New Orleans, the right. murder capital. Right. Like that was something to brag about. Right. You know, people get put to death. Young people, and that's the thing. It ain't the other nation. Right. It's, our, it's your own people. It's your own brother. You know? And what is that? So all this is what? The curse. Yes. Us looking crazy on the planet Earth, murdering, <laughs> murdering each other. We murdering each We already on the bottom. We killing each other. Yes. Sleeping with each other's women. Yep. Worshiping all these. We a nation divided. And we got to say that on stupid ass Twitter of allegiance. When I say nation divided, I'm talking about understanding what the word nation means. Yeah. Israelites. Israel, Israelites, we are divided. In the different philosophy, under different philosophy, only nation that's like that yeah. to, the, to that degree. Yeah, you got not, you got that going on within other nations, but not nowhere near like Israelites. So right, Israelites are in the Christianity, in the Islam, yeah. in the whatever they want. There's black no country. togetherness. Yeah, black country, yeah, that uh, pan African, uh, never mind, Timmy, and all that old yes. garbage. You know, there's no togetherness. There's no common denominator. Yeah, it's a common denominator. Being a damn Babylonian. Right. Celebrating all these so-called holidays. You know? But as far as really standing on some integral uh, morals and, you know, having true culture, there is none. So, uh, Imagine us just growing up in it and it's just normal. Like people on the outside looking in and, and looked at uh looked at that movie Minutes to Society and Boys in the Hood. Yes. Right. Yes. Thought, that was just that's what was going on 24-7 all the time. So they like, whoa. Stay away from the hood. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I was gonna make a point uh, to go with the brother. It's to the point where you can bring out the uh, scriptures and go into how we, how we are gonna have a kingdom and, and be you know uh, rose up and living a better life. But you know what I'm saying they can't see it because they are so accustomed to how it is now. Right, right. You know? That's uh, far, what we talking about is far fetched. <coughs> Way I mean it's out of this world. It's a uh, it's a uh, metaverse <laughs> according to the you know the meaning of the word. We talking about so we all talking about something beyond this planet. Yes. You know, we talking about uh, the impossible. Right. Let's go back to the scripture. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not from the top. We are the impossible with men. How about the hour of South? Baruch 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, for thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. Men, the curses we're going to show in the earth on the Israelites. Not, now we get brought over here on ships. Yep. And even the Latin tribes got put on ships. Yep. Not to the degree of the, the so-called Negroes. Okay. And 
Now we murdered each other at alarming rates. Yep. You know? Y'all, uh, the scriptures say that we should be uh, stricken with madness. Wow. Oh, <laughs> me and bug got about Go. <laughs> Uh, nothing like what we're going through, northern nation I've been through. What we're going through is clear. Two other nations, you know, that is something. How can they kid? How can they be this gone in the mind, this depressed and uh, oppressed, you know, and doing all these amazing things at the same time? Yeah, they are both ends of the spectrum. Right. They jumping out the gym and they street sweep. Right. And then your they children want to be like us. Yes. Yes. The nation's children want to be right. like us. Yeah. Because we bring flavor to the earth. Yes. You know, we just messed up right now as a nation. But we're in the process through the remnant, uh, through the spirit of your power, your how about some y'all was about some of the cock and die. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? The Most High is cleaning up the nation with the uh, with that remnant pushing out His word and getting and uh, getting built up in the, to uh, leave this world. That sounds crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, well, shit. If you want this man to stand, for Joe, Jay, Jay, do. Jay, do. Sure right. Man to stand sure for do. Sure. Go ahead. Huh? It's Daniel nine and twelve. And he have confirmed this word which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Yeah, so what's been done to the nation of Israel had been done to no other people talking about on the on the, the magnitude of how it was done to right. You know, they got a uh, saying that the transatlantic slave trade, the darkest uh the darkest time in history. Ain't that something? Out of all the bad and horrible because other nations went into captivity. All nations went into captivity but not nearly as on the level as uh how it happened to the nation of Israel. Right. Five away. There they go. <laughs> Talk about the curses. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. Moreover, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and, and overtake and, thee. And pursue thee and overtake thee. So the curse was on our head. No yeah. matter how much we trying to teach, they trying to run from the curse. We yeah. all trying yeah. to run from the curse. Yeah. We trying to get out of these. Is a sticky situation. Is a sticky situation. Well, we're not. We're trying to say, I'm trying to, that's about they get money and they leave out of the, uh, uh, the hood. Yet they talk, they talk, they rap about the hood and it's all good in the hood, but they know it's not. That's why they leave. Right, exactly. You know? In this, you see murder. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Didn't look what happened. So for sure. He got murdered and the other one was still in prison. I'm trying to keep it real. Right. We were trying to run from the uh, curses, even in the form of uh, looking to a leader to get us out of this situation. Yep. Yep. You know? Yep. Trying to find a way to get, we had all these little things we trying to get, uh, you know, situated better in, in, the, in the arena of economics. Yeah. You know? And then that ain't work. All these oh with the Martin Luther King Day is on Monday. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I was I heard some about the parade. I couldn't even think of Martin Luther King Day is on Monday. What was that whole thing about? Civil exactly. rights. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that something? Ain't it? The right to be <laughs> to receive <laughs> Amongst the yeah. the right to receive uh, or to be treated in a yeah. civil manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And still don't get it. And still yeah. ain't got it to this day. You know? 
And by the time he figured out what was going on, they popped his ass. Right, when they, you know, let him in and he felt bad about it. Yeah. He did. When they let him in on the information. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we was trying to figure, and to this day, Jake still trying to run it from the uh, curses, trying to, yeah. but the curses is in high pursuit. <laughs> no, y'all. That's, like, that's R. Kelly. That. R. Kelly couldn't run He'll feel <laughs> Because 
if there's a God, see, this is, see, if you're in Christianity, you should question this loving God. This God <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not working. Wow. This is going on. <laughs> right. This Christian stuff is not working. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they take a lot of them damn selves. Or, okay, well, I got to sell out to, to do good in this society. Yeah. And they start thinking that they get a good job and things start happening on that end, then they being blessed. Yeah. Now, you ain't blessed, but you still got to take your black ass to work. Exactly. Pay taxes. And while you at work, you worrying about that woman. Yeah. And your children are unruly. Yep. Yeah. Getting the shit taxed out of it. Yeah, Jake wondered, well, damn, I, would, I mean, anybody in their right mind should think, well, damn, this God, great and loving God, and his son died for us and <coughs> came to do these great things, and look at us. Something is wrong with the business. Something is wrong with this picture. They got churches all in the hood. It's a right. church on every other block. <laughs> if you go to the hood, it's, it's churches all in the hood. Literally. Yeah, like literally like every other block. Yes. In, in a lot of cases. And that's them so called Christian pastors mainly in the woods milking the the false preachers. Right. Milking our people for what little that they got left, man. Right. right. That's why you see a lot of drinks now. They flocking all that Afrocentric shit or they just call themselves so spiritual. Yeah, yeah, right. they spiritual. So instead of them acknowledging that none of this shit that we even tried is working now, it's just affirmation for every day. Look at this, look, as soon as you see uh, 1111, oh, affirmation, I'm good. This, no, you full of shit. You deceiving yourself and telling you you're in a situation that you're not in, man. Yeah, that's Right, you would think with all that, uh, all in so called churches, you know, all that preaching going on. <laughs> All that Jesus. Man, I used to, I used to watch some of them that see uh, that looked like they were devoted devout Christians. You know, the ones that went to church on Sunday, went to birth both services. They went to the early morning service. Yeah, yeah, both of them. Went to the other service. We're going to Bible study. We're going to. This, that, and the third at the church. Stayed at the in church. In the choir. <laughs> yeah. But they could yeah. That that person should be a change, a born again, a, a truly born again Christian. Yeah. And prosperous in this world. You say you're born again, or you you a changed person, but you're doing this, you do the same shit. We all came up in this Christianity, yes. man. You go in and talk about you get baptized, you holler and scream on Sunday, and you do the right. exact same shit you were doing Friday, you so called being baptized. Yeah. There's no change. Go ahead and bring it up. Yeah. Or you have something about Oh, live. This no, okay, go ahead. It's Jeremiah 23 and 21. It says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they reign. I have yeah. not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. So even uh, even dealing with these uh, so-called pastors, and they call themselves preachers, yeah, because they really not deserving any titles, you know. But they tell you that they the, they the, uh, the voice of the, yeah. God. Yeah. God came yeah. to me and told me this. Lord, right? I don't want you to do this. He wants you to do that. All that talk shit, and they all got the same little way they preach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And all that shit, man. Yeah. Just mainly to get in them fucking women's <coughs> emotions, and the men gonna follow behind them goddamn women, man. Coming up, uh, like the scripture say in Isaiah 30, they like speaking smooth. God. So you go to, I and I did this in the world, I went to a uh, Edomite church. I don't remember if it was Catholic mm -hmm. or. I don't remember what. You know, it wasn't a Catholic church, I'm sure of that, but it was a so it was a, I forget the denomination. But the church was, uh, it had no salt in there. It was bland. Even the singing was just, it was whack, man. I was like, man. You went to church where I went when I was growing up? <laughs> when I went to the Catholic church, it was, there was no salt. None. They mimicked everything Esau did. The same song, other than we shall overcome. See, that ain't going to get you, Jay. So you need, 
smooth speaking, yeah, right. smooth talking niggas up on up there. That old pastor, he'll get you going, boy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. He'll get you going. He is a motivator. Man. Yeah, you will leave out of there on yeah. Sunday feeling yeah. like you can change the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Salaki, but uh, I, I used to hear this all the time. Like, you hear people say, I like the way he, he you know what I'm saying, yeah, talk. I like the way he, he talk. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he putting on the show. Yeah, that's exactly. what they do. They don't come and tell you, man. I always used to do that, man. Like, I'm not learning the truth. Once I got out of that stage of trying to cut and rebuke everybody and shit, I didn't ask people. They talk, came back from church. Oh, what you learned? They have my old way. Oh, it was good. They were singing good today. They ain't never no talked about right. what they learned. No <laughs> Listen, it's always then, like the brother said, they start bigging up the pastor. Oh, pastor so and so, man, he can go in. Should he let you come as you are? Yeah, that's the big thing right there. You can dress it. You don't got to dress up to this church. Yeah. You can come in there and dress it. Yeah. Said, every pastor yeah. relates to you. Yeah, I was from the streets. Every pastor <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I was on drugs. I was drinking. I was wanting to. still is. Right. Go back to that in Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23 and 21. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Verse 22. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the doing. And from the evil of their doings. Right. Just real quick, uh, we only had uh, Jeremiah 15. 15. But yeah, so that's how we know this doctrine that we're teaching is the, is the truth. Because what? It turned us from our uh, evil way. And then going back to what we were talking about earlier, you would think all these churches in the, in the, in the hood, so to speak, you know, and even this period, all over, you would think this would be a changed society, huh? Yeah, yeah. all this these would be a Christian Christian nation, huh? <laughs> All this playing on Bibles. And... Yeah, right. Why yeah. is the murder rate and all the crime increasing? Well, this is a Bible-based country. It should have some type of high morals and integrity. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm Especially amongst us. Yes. His, his yes. Life. Cause we, we, should be, back to church. we should be clean and yeah. uh, walking yeah. straight yeah. on this planet, man. Yeah. Walking, yeah. walking in float. Walking in the word. Like <laughs> but yeah, they're not dealing with the scriptures up in them part right. of the They're not dealing with the truth. That's right. That's how we know this is the truth. We know this is the counsel of the most high because there's no way you can come up out of the the, the, uh, the ways of this world without without your how about from your outside. To get through all exactly. this confusion, you know. <coughs> Got something? Good. He said Ezekiel chapter thirteen and verse one. He said, "The word of Yahweh came unto me and saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesied and say, Thou to them that prophesied out of their own hearts." Yep. Oh yeah, that's what I was. Uh, leadership of our people is notorious for. Yes. They just coming out of their mind with whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever smooth words they want to come with. Yes. You know, they're not bringing out the, or breaking down these scriptures. Or the correct way anyway. He said, hear, the, hear ye the words of Yahweh. Thou should say, Yahweh power, woe unto you foolish prophets that follow your own spirit and have nothing. What a prophet do what? Prophesy. Prophesy what? Telling you what does say y'all by Shim Yahweh Shah, what's coming down the pike, man? Telling you that there's a karagma coming. Right, right. That a karagma is here and it's gonna be fully implemented. <laughs> a third world's war is coming to end all wars, man. The Lord is coming back to bring judgment and Bring death and destruction. Yeah, upon not, the earth. not not not. Now he's not gonna have peach and egg cream. No. Total they, out. Yeah, he's not coming with uh, have a uh, ice cream party, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. They think he's coming back with spoons and ice cream, man. Yes. No. Right. People believe in a, a, a soft 
of there's gonna be a so-called rapture, but not in the sense that y'all know it through this right, false right. Christianity. Right, man. Seven year tribulation. Yeah, all oh, right. We are. Uh, it's gonna be a time of tribulation, and we don't. The elect is gonna get delivered out of that. That's right. And that's it. That's right. And the kingdom is, and then the kingdom is gonna yep. be set up. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, uh, uh, Tribulation period, man. That told document, man. And that's another thing. Seven years, okay. Well, that's only seven years. Midnight. You looking at the clock? Well, well, right. it's gonna be over. <laughs> right. Nah, man. Right. And then, you know, okay. So the Lord come get get some of his, get some of the children. And then uh, there's a seven year tribulation period. And if you happen to not bow to the Antichrist within the seven the seven uh, years, then you can you can he gonna come back again and get the rest. Where do the scriptures say the Lord gonna come back twice? He gonna right, come right. back, chill out, get do whatever, and leave, and then come back in seven the third, more years. The third oh, the third, right. okay. <laughs> on the third day he rose. That's, That's what he's talking about. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they try to use the prophecy that we talk about the seventy weeks and all of that, which I'm not. We're not even going to uh, to justify the uh, seven year tribulation. <laughs> anyway, uh, which our brother got? This is Jeremiah five and thirty. It say a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rules by their means. And my people love to have it so. You see, that that's the problem, man. The two-thirds of our people that's into that, man, they like to have it like that, man. They want to hear Pastor Price. They want to hear Murder Mace preaching. I mean, man, for real. You know, they want to hear these false prophets and they smooth things, man. And then the last line say, and what will you do in the end day of? Get destroyed. Hey, I can make this in their pastors. What they hear from them don't require no action. They don't require no correction. They can just continue going on with whatever the hell they was doing after they listened to this eloquent sermon. Yeah. Right, because uh, they lead them. They, 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 they're steady leading them in the same path, which is the path of darkness. Yeah. Yeah. The blind leading the uh, blind. Yep. You know? Yep. Cause why? They not saying stop celebrating Christmas. Right. That's not in the scriptures. That's right. Christmas ain't in the scriptures. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Christmas is not a high holy day. New Year's celebrating New Year's is not in the in the scriptures. Buying fireworks, that's not scriptural. Exactly. Letting them off in the in the on the New Year. That's not at midnight. Right. Why would a day end at 12, 12 o'clock, 12 a.m.? Why would a day end? It start at 12 one That don't make no sense. In the middle of the night. Right. He saw his backwards. He's against the most high. Yes. You know? Yeah, they not telling the people to, uh, telling our people to stop following the way we didn't came up. And right, not, right. That's not in the scripture. See, none of this, this way of life is not the uh, uh, the way the Most High intended for us to live. Right. You know? That's why this bastard know he got a, he came with his book because he know this is the standard. Yes. You know? That's why in what, 1983 they declared that the year of the Bible, the uh, declaration that the Bible was supposed to be the law of the right. Yep. You see, that's why they had the president. They knew this book. They know. They know this, this book whole way. Yeah. But yet they can't. It's not in them to keep this way. Yet they wouldn't fit being uh, either, the Esau, the Edomite. Y'all, whatever y'all got. This is Jeremiah 3, verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to yeah. my heart, 
but shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right, which you don't get. See, Christianity don't give you that. Right. Neither does any of these other so-called religions. Uh, what's that? Kimmy? You don't get no understanding out of that. All you, all you get out of that is it's saying that's deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They deep, man. Some shit you just ain't never heard. <laughs> so it's deep. That's deep. And then what? They don't understand. They just say it's deep. Yeah, it's deep. But you don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, deep thing. You know? Yes. There's no one in. Man, the nation of Islam is not bringing understanding. I'm sorry. At all. Well, I'm not sorry. Make no sense, yo. The, the, the head man of the nation, so to speak, there is no nation of Islam. There's no such thing. No. There's no people that came from a man named Islam or a seed, a seed of Islam. You know? But he's dealing with this. They deal with the scriptures. They don't even deal with the uh, Quran. Right. Read that book in one, you can go down. Or well, read it and, 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 and believe in it. And they don't change. Well, well praying five times a day. But most of them, Jake, <laughs> Jake don't really be devoted like that. Nah. Not in the America, in America, you know. You have some, but it, they really don't, they don't really, only thing they do, they stop eating. Eating the pork. Yeah. And they'll start for a minute to sell the bean pies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get them in there. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, let's get, uh, let's get it. Let's get Revelation in there. Start in there. It's Revelation 11 and 8. Series of verses. Go ahead. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right, this is going into what we've been going into. That we are, <laughs> yeah, that we are, uh, we lost our identity, man, and that's the sign that we're in the last days. Yeah. You know? So how are we, what the scripture talking about? Their dead bodies shall lie in the great city. Yeah. What you see before your very eyes. Yeah. Bugged out so-called Negroes, Latinos, yeah. and Native Americans walking around in a spiritually dead state. Right. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Back it up to the point of what it was at, man. All right, we had to get to this. This had to happen first. All right, this is part of us getting closer to the day of the Lord, man. All right, because we, uh, uh, we have to lose our heritage, our culture, and everything that we uh, uh, foreknow. All right, that was part of prophecy, man. And that's how we, that part has already passed, man. Now we're in the time of awakening, man. Right. Right. And it's coming to a close now. All right, and that's what we're going to do. Bring that up. It's Proverbs 21 and verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yep. That's it. So that's what happened to it. happened to the whole nation. We were all uh, uh, walking with no understanding. So what? We were spiritually dead. Yep. And the, the mass was still spiritually dead. Yes. And want to remain that way. Uh, let's go back. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right. It's not this, uh, that great city. Get a uh, Revelation 17. Not get the first. Yeah, that great city is talking about America. Yeah, I'm sure you talk about Vatican City, verse 18. 
Revelation 17 and 18. And the woman, well, which, you know what? Go up to verse, what verse 5 say? Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery, Babylon. Right, read, verse, read verse 4 and then uh, read verse 5 and then go to verse 8. Revelation 17 and 4. It says, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Right, all this is symbolic talk. Okay, You're talking about uh, this woman that was decked with uh, gold and precious scarlet color. Abomination, and she's riding upon that beast, that seven-headed beast with ten horns, which is talking about uh, NATO and the EU and America is the whore that's sitting on, the, on, on that uh, on top of those nations, okay, controlling them. and then uh, unified it, they form the uh, pretty much the world power. The uh, superpower of the earth. See the beast. NATO, the EU, and America. Go ahead. So that's what we're all coming through Russia. Right now, Russia and uh, NATO and America are beefing right now. Uh -huh. On the wall, the walls and talks, rumors of wars is going on. That's what that beast, man. Yep. But they talking about making uh, Ukraine and part of NATO. And right. that's another one, too. Uh, yeah, that's going yeah, yeah, to yeah, we don't see how that. Yeah, we're gonna see how that play out because they supposed to be part of the US, you know, uh, USSR. Yes. There's no more, but the scripture talking uh, Ezekiel right. 38, yeah. the most high put in book 10, God can make a uh, job. Yeah. I mean, we're taking them back to the old way. Yeah. Okay? The USSR. So, what the hell they don't got business doing trying to take one of their. Yeah, members. yeah, yeah. And then you see what's happening in. in how you say it, Kazakhstan, 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 you see what's happening, they, there's different types of protests out there, they don't give a shit, man, the people, and, and, the, and, and the police, and the, the army, or the military, they don't care neither, they open the fire on just regular civilians, man, people protest, it ain't like, I ain't find no rubber bullets, they shoot to kill, and they already, the they, president already gave the order. These people that's protesting against this government are terrorists, put them to death, yeah. period. And if I can add to uh, what the president of uh, Kazakhstan was saying and Putin, they said that wasn't residents or citizens of Kazakhstan. Yeah, that was mercenaries sent, mercenaries exactly. sent from America cool. and uh, NATO yep. to come over there yep. and do that. Yep. You see, him, and that's why Putin him said, look, we shooting the kill because this is none of our people. Yep. Y'all sent us up trying to set up a coup. So that's why they're going to push Russia to a corner. And it's supposed to be June of this year that it's the uh, NATO meeting. And that's when they're having talks about uh, of making it official of Ukraine getting up in there in June. And Putin said, if you do that, then that's the red line. So that's the red line. So they get pressure from the left side and the bottom. Yep, yep. You know? And it might happen, you know, it's like that. You know? Now, you know, the Lord said, uh, how these nations go turn against America, those who eat the bread with you. The Lord might have it well, with Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're talking about another guy. Mm -hmm. You know, but certain people, you know, try to make alliances, they may have talks with America and switch on, you know, ever switch on the yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna happen because the scripture say they that be confederate with yeah, yeah, yeah. the beach is going the the NATO members and EU members, a lot of them not in, in, in they not happy with America. No. You know? Hell no. And they don't like the what they, they don't like the uh, the so-called American way of life. The so-called American way of living, the standard of of the, the the way that people in America live and conduct themselves, man. They see it's all out of order. Yeah, we mean hey, Yeah. Uh, uh, talk about that woman, right? Yeah, but, yeah. Full of wood. Yeah, 
And so she's giving everybody this Lord and gave everybody that wine. And you see what they do when you don't go along with their agenda, then they start slapping all these sanctions on your country. Uh, well, Russia said they didn't have enough. There's enough of sanctions. It, it, everything is it's enough. They didn't have enough. set up shop in Alaska or you feel me or Cuba so nobody they else does it. these things right. in the area yeah, no nobody wow. else is doing these things even with the uh, military U.S. The military bases yes. and U.S. embassies all over the oh, globe yeah. Man. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, if any like, other nation tried to attempt to do the shit that America is doing then they, they, they gonna call them out of the terrorists yep. Right. Yep. they breaking in the that look that's crazy Esau the nations is fed up with your shit, man. Right. right. What they had, the Geneva Convention. And, and, and America don't even hold up to them laws, man. They drone strike, they kill innocent civilians. They don't give a shit. Whatever they got to do to push their agenda, they do it. They don't even uphold, they don't even keep their own laws, man. Right. Right. Uh, Psalm 50 and uh, 16. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Psalms chapter 50 verse 16 But unto the wicked the most high self What hast thou to do to declare my statute? Right. Who is the wicked? Esau Yeah, Esau is the wicked so-called white man, according to the scripture, that was scared they when they hear it. <laughs> 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 they heard you say it. Huh? Okay, that's according to Malachi chapter one, verse four. Also, Job nine and twenty-four. Okay. Oh, the process of elimination. You, 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 the thing, all fingers pointing one person. Straight up. On one group of people. Yes. Go ahead. It says mainly they elites, they elites, man. Yes, yes, and a lot of these Joe Six Packs, they know about the elites, man. They know, oh man, we gotta like Alex Jones, we gotta do something to to get make get this country back and blah 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 and all this different type of shit. And we always make the point, uh, Alex Jones or any of these low level Edomites, they call themselves patriots and all that shit. Right. Y'all will flip flop and switch with these elites without right. even, if they said come sit in one of these seats, they'll, they'll run over you trying to get there, yeah. man. These Edomites, low level Edomites, they get to be CEO of the company. Yes. Man, you know how much dirt they're going Woo! on at the top of the And then, the, you know, the other people in high upper management that. Yes. It's all kind of corrupt. 
some shit going on. Yes. So they doing it on a you know on a low a lower level. You know, they don't have the, that uh power to do it on a global scale. Right. But they work they are doing shit on a global scale. They know they fucking over people in the on the on the planet, yeah, man. Yeah. You know? Cause they following or the, the the industry really at the top, they pretty much following up. Yeah. Look, this is the type of music you want these niggas listening to right. in these hoods. They make sure it's about all types of negativity. Advertisement. Woo! When you get into marketing, yes. for this big corporate marketing yes. and advertisement, yes. this is what we want to put on the cereal box to yes. get these children to go down the aisle. And I want that That's moment. what I want to do. Right. That's right. a promising career. If you get into these high-level companies, if you went to advertising, Slogan, you see a slogan, the advertising, it's all witchcraft. You yeah. sit there and you got a board of people sitting in the office coming up with ideas on how to draw the people and in. How to how sell to debt. Them. Yeah, how to sell. And they market it specifically to different, right. they got different target groups. Yeah. They got a show called Blackish with uh, Anthony Anderson. Yeah, yeah. That's what he does in the show. And they show that. Yeah, he's, a, he's, all, he's, in, he's into marketing. Yeah. Okay, we want to target the urban community. And that's why they got him in that company that he's in on the show, just so he can uh, target Jay. What do the people like? Okay, they yeah, like grape Kool-Aid yeah. and... Yes, copy know. champagne and... Yeah, all that. They, nigga shit. Yes. The chicks. All the kids. Where we at, Mr. Uh, Psalms 50. Yeah, yeah, let's bring that out. Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most high self, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction and catches my work, seeing that thou hatest instruction and catches my words behind thee. Right, and this man is so bold, or so, he hated instruction so much. And he throws his own law behind his back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And just make up shit as he right. does. Right, yeah. Well, we got to revive this law. Yeah, yeah. Because I just broke all this shit. I'm changing to where it's working. Revising and appealing. Well, there is no revising yeah. and appealing with the law. That's the right. Yeah. It's perfect. Yep. It's perfect law. You sure know? don't need no tweet. Yeah. And he saw yeah. Look, that's what's coming on the, on the planet of Earth. And this Earth is going to be reformed. All right, the change is coming. The change is going to be with our Lord, your house side, coming back to straighten, this, straighten your ass out. Right. Straighten you out by putting you in slavery. That's the yeah. only way you can straighten the yeah. might out is put them, hey. put them to death and put them in slavery. Ain't that what they do us? Right, right. What they call it, correctional facilities? Yeah, correctional yeah. facilities. We coming to bring to the correct your ass. Shit. The yeah, reason I was Jay come to the correct your ass. That's right. Uh -huh. Seventeen again. It says, "Seeing thou hatest instructions and casting my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou considers with with him." Meaning, this man is all is in bed with thieves. Yes. He like the if he yeah. see a thief, oh, let me come help yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me get on Let me get, on, let me get yeah. in on this. How plane. much can right. I get out of this? Right. And then really, what it is we he looking to not only get in on the Get in bed with the thief, but overtake the thief. Yeah. Right, no, I'm stab him in the back and take yeah. all of yeah. 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 it. That scene in the movie, like they got heist for big robberies at the end when they get the spoil. Yeah. 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 All of a sudden, they hop out the back and just pop, pop, kill yeah. everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take it off for us, yeah. 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 Two million yeah. wasn't good enough. You need the whole thing. Just sit between both That's just not enough for me. <laughs> yeah, he's right out there, too. So we had out. It says, when thou sawest a thief, then thou then thou con consentest with him and has been partaker with adulterers. Yes, spiritual adultery, okay, adultery as far as 
you know, a man commit adultery against another man by sleeping with his wife. That's what gets pushed here. Yes. Spiritual adultery is, Esau is all about pushing spiritual adultery. Yet, this is supposed to be a God-fearing country, right? right. Well, that's all bullshit. Right. This is, the president swearing on the Bible, that's just say enough. Well, if he's swearing in on this book, that means this must be the rule book. But right. you can't have that book in school. And you can't pray in school, but your leader of the so-called free nation, of the free world, swear in on it. And if you go to court, you swear in on it. And all these different levels of government, you swear in on the Bible, you can't pray in school, you can't bring the Bible to school. No religion at school is so powerful religion. Right. It don't make no damn sense. Right. What, what about you can be a you can be in the Islam? That should be outlawed. Should yeah. be. But it's saying that this man is about adultery. If you coexist. Yeah. Right. If you vote, why would you vote for a man you know is going and you are a, a Muslim? Why would you vote for a man that's gonna sway in on the Bible? None of this place, shit makes sense. So this, that's why this place is called uh, Babylon. It's great. Uh, great confusing. You know what? Let's go back to Revelation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we ain't finished that. Uh-huh. Revelation 17. Four, uh, start at 4 again, 5 and then jump to 8. Revelation 17. And then we're going to go back to Revelation. <laughs> Revelation 17 and 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones right. and pearls. That scarlet color and decked with gold represents royal, uh, rulership. Yeah. Was well, yeah, they are the royalty of the earth, okay, right now. But they by the scripture say the most high is going to leave you with nothing. Yeah. Right. And you know? they kings and, and rulers is going into slavery. And they counterfeits. Yeah. They really uh peasants. Going back to me, that word uh, Bauer, the, cause yeah, the, the, yeah. Elites, the Rothschild, they they go back to they uh, they really Bauer's. Their last name Germany, and then they changed their name to uh, I think Amsterdam Bauer changed the name to uh, Red Shield, and that's when you get Roth, you get Rothschild out of that. Yeah, and uh, that word. Bauer means peasants, because yes. they really are the peasants yes. of the earth. Yes. We're the royalty of this place. Yeah. Revelation 17 uh, 4 says, uh, and having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness yeah, what for is the fornication. No, it's not slot, slot, slot. What's the abomination? Almost uh, the LGBTQ, yeah, yes. the abominable acronym being not only did just happening, but being forced down the people's throat. Straight up. Right. <clears throat> Take this, drink it. Right. See, he, Esau is doing with that cup, Esau is doing the way he did uh, the slaves on the, on the ship. They're funny. Took it, taking funnels and bust your bust teeth, your teeth out. out. Then they're like with a, uh, with a what you call them? Uh, uh, oh, the chisel. Like a chisel, punch, yeah. Yeah. knocking your damn, busting your teeth out your mouth, then shoving the fucking funnel down your throat, and shoving slop down your throat. But that's what Esau is doing with that, with that cup full of abomination. He forcing it down. I thought alcohol was legal, but the chisel, for right? Under the money, right? Esau don't give a damn. Yep, and they starting off in, in the pre-K, the kindergarten, the first grade, right. when you're young and impressionable, they bring it, they, first of all, the uh, large majority of these so-called teachers, they are all so-called liberals, you know, and they want to teach these children tolerance to this shit, and teach them what is you it's teaching okay. a child? Yeah, it's okay. What is you teaching a child about sexuality for? Yeah. First of all, but see, a lot of the people that they children go to these schools, they go into these board meetings and they go into these PTA meetings and they raise the sand, man, because they see this agenda that's being forced. But that's your democracy. 
Yeah. That's your democracy at work. That's more than wine and that, that uh, abomination in that cup. Yep. That's what you voted for. Right. That's what you believe in. You believe in America, that's what you pledge your allegiance to. Right. So deal with it. Stay in school, man. Shit. Yeah. Stay in school is destroying you in this yeah. place. Say school no to drugs. Drop out school. Dropping yeah. out of school is really the best thing yeah, you, you probably could do in this fucked up ass place. Yes. And the whole uh, say no to drugs campaign, the DNA trying to diagnose <laughs> all these damn kids with autism or ADHD, and then put them on drugs. Right. Wow. Riddle, riddle. Yeah. Riddle. Nancy Reagan was the one that pushed that slogan, just say no. But yet her husband was in in, in bed with the uh conscience. Right. The the, the uh the Iran yeah. conscience. Right. Ain't that something? Yeah. Bringing drugs into the hood. You can watch the, the free great Ricky Ross right. documentary. Uh, or the uh show uh Snowfall. Or Snowfall. What's the name of that guy? Gary uh Will. Yeah. Be the one that you know, blue the cover on this on the information. Yes. Ain't that ain't that hypocritical? Yeah, the name of the movie is uh it's really about him, but it's going into how that whole country's uh what Nicaragua yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Uh I think it's called Don't uh Tell Don't Hate the Messenger. Don't kill the messenger. Yeah, don't, don't kill, kill the messenger. messenger. That's yeah. what it is. All right, let's go back to uh, Revelation, Revelation, Revelation 17, 17 and 5. And upon the forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Right, because at one point in time it was going to be a mystery. It was a mystery of who it was talking about. Right. You understand it's a symbolic talk, but who is, what is, who is this? What, is this who, uh, what does this represent? Well, we breaking it down now. That's right. Okay. Going, starting with uh, our apostles and their teachers, and then to, to all the men coming up under the doctrine they teach. You know, yep. it's the, the, really the doctrine of, from from the heaven. Yes. The doctrine from your high by Shem Yep. All right. They said that this this woman, she was from royal, right? Yeah. Money. Got a golden cup full of shit in it, and, and upon her forehead you had Mr. Babylon the Great, the mother of all this, the abomination of the earth, the abominations of the earth. Yes. This is tat This is on her forehead. Yes. And we see it. This is talking about uh, America. So it's telling you that Babylon the Great is their horn. Yes. So jump to verse. Uh, Revelation. Revelation 17 and 18. And the woman which thou sawest. Right, the same woman that's on the scarlet colored beach. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It says, and the woman which thou sawest is that great city. I said, I, was, I meant to say her deck. You say she's uh, dressed in purple, right? And scarlet. And scarlet. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. You got it. It says, and the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Right, so going back to Revelation 11 and 8, that great city. Talking about that war, talking about Babylon the Great, the whore that had Babylon the Great written on her forehead. That's that great city. Yes. So let's go back there. Revelation. Not fit this verse, and we gonna wrap it up. Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Well, also our Lord was crucified. Right. See, this is the the main label on this uh, on this place is Sodom and Egypt. Yes. Yeah, that's the big thing. The, how you think the other nations look at this country, knowing that this is the this is the place where homosexuals dwell. 
right. roles and, and bows. And so it's, it's, it's basically you are enemy of the state if you're against that. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. They got mowing boat so-called churches. They got a mowing boat, mowing boat Bible. Pastors and preachers. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you go to the so-called church, man. Your choir director nine times out of ten is a preacher. But now he the mayor of the city, and you men are flaming. Men are flaming. I, we knew that when we were small. Yeah. You know, you know but yeah. you never. But now he the mayor of the city, though. She ain't crazy. So. <laughs> yeah. She crazy. Only in America. Only in America. Uh -huh. Like Don <laughs> King. <laughs> right. Same choir director become mayor of the city. Right. And then it says, uh, Sodom, well, it says the great city was spiritually. Yeah, yeah. See, not Sodom, not the spiritually Sodom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this place got, uh, I believe she's a, how you said, open uh, 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 erected all over the place. Yes. You know? Cleopatra Needle is in New York, in the city, New York, uh, in the city park. The uh, original thing, the original needle. Why would they bring that needle to over here? <coughs> in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really the, the capital the, of the world. The Pasadena, the in the went out, we're going to wrap it up. And once again, we want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostle and the elders of Great Millstone once again. Peace and blessings on to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.